Hi everyone, welcome to my video channel. This time I would like to deliver a presentation on errors and variations of English expressions on BEMO as the Kupang City's mode of public transportation. Well, this, this presentation, this title is not a new presentation because before I had presented this topic or this title at uh, Kolita 14 in Atmajaya University in 2014. But I think this topic is still relevant until today. So who knows you are interested to my presentations and you want to learn something? Well, please watch this video till the end. But before we start, Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. I really need your subscription. Your subscri subscription on this video helped me a lot. <laughs> okay, instead of, instead of wasting a lot of time, let us start with uh, the basic or the preliminary things or the, some things that we need to discuss first as an introduction. There are three things that we, we can start to discuss about errors and variations of English expressions on BEMO. The first one is, what is the reason for me to investigate this issue? The second one, talking about BEMOs, how many modes of public transport are in Kupang City? Number three, how many percentages of Kupang public transport which have verbal expressions? Now, the, the, the reason why I investigated this issue is because I believe that there must be something or a message lying behind all the words, statements, terms, and prayers which were written on the public transport. The second one, the number of public transport in Kupang City according to Post Kupang in 2015 were about 500. Probably the number is a bit, has, has been increasing a bit today or probably has been decreasing a bit. There is no data to do to say about that, but it is clear that in 2015 the number of Kupang City in the number of public transport in Kupang City is about 500. Dealing with the percentages of Kupang uh, Kupang public transport which have verbal expressions, I have a bit surprising data because around 90% of the total number of these public vehicles have verbal expressions. Okay. Uh, for the whole verbal expressions that I found on BEMOs, there are five number of values that I can say, that I can explain. The first one is religious values. The second one is pornographic values. The third one is aesthetic values. The fourth one is social values and the last one is linguistic value. Now, what about the aims of this research? The first aim is I hope that I can classify errors and variations of English expressions which are found in coupon modes of public transportation. And the second one, I hope that I can give linguistic, semiotic, and cultural comments dealing with the use of English statements in the public transport. Now, in conducting research, this, this investigation or this research is basically a descriptive qualitative research. To do the research, I used two uh, data collecting techniques. The first one is taking photos and the second one is interviews. It means that anytime when I, when I go down, when I went down to get the data, I took photos on BEMOs, especially the exp English expressions on BEMOs, on the minivans. And the second one, I interviewed a number of drivers of the minivans, especially those who have unique English expressions on the vehicles. Okay. In the process of analyzing the data, I used three theories provided by Bart, Crossan, 